Our next lesson here is cones. Cones are just like pyramids, except that they're round on the base instead of having some kind of a multi, multi-sided multi base square or pentagonal, whatever it happens to be. Um, and they, after having that round base, then they come to a point up above it, again, just like a pyramid did, but instead of having a, a base that has a bunch of sides, square sides, it's just round on the bottom. Think like a, a witch's hat for instance. Um, the surface area of a right cone is actually, it's a little bit complex as far as uh, discovering it, but the formula is not that difficult. Really what we're looking for is the area of the base, just like we did with any of our other shapes, the area of the base, and then the area of the side. There's actually no worrying about multiplying specifically by the the height of the figure. What we're going to do is actually multiply by the slant length. So if we were to take a look at our cone here, and again, as usual, I'll pardon my drawing skills. I, I wish I was more of an artist, but I'm not good at it. <laughs> so we have our base down here. And then if you measure the height of the pyramid or the uh, cone from the outside of the base right up along the edge up to the peak, that's our lateral height. So the height along the edge. A lot of times you'll see that as a slant. I've seen that used as an S a whole bunch, the slant height of that cone, um, as opposed to just the regular vertical height, which would come right up through the center. But to find the surface area, we just find the area of the base. That's the pi r squared part, right, since it's a circle. And then we add that to pi times the radius times that height, that slant height. So we're going to use pi times the radius squared, and then we're going to do pi times the radius, not squared, and multiply it by whatever this slant height or this lateral height is of our cone. So it's actually a pretty easy calculation. If we, for instance, said uh, we were going to have a, a cone whose lateral height was, say, 10, and whose radius uh, of the base was 5, then we'd do pi times r squared, or the area of the base would be 5 squared, 25. So 25 times pi. And then this area of the lateral base would be pi times the radius, or 5 pi times 10. So this would just be 10 pi. And then we just add those two things together. So the area of that whole cone then, surface area, would just be 35 pi. So really, the calculation ends up being pretty easy. And often, very often, you'll find that we'll just leave our answer in terms of pi, because pi never changes. And then we don't have to have a calculator handy. Let's take a look at volume. Volume of a cone, uh, if you watched the last lesson, you heard me mention that volume of the cone is the same process as it is for volume of a pyramid. It's just one third the area of the base times the height. So the only difference really is that instead of finding the area of some uh, poly polygonal base, we just find the area of a circle, and the area of a circle is pi r squared. So it's really the same formula as it is for a pyramid. It's one third the area of the base times the height. Just remember that the area of the circle is pi r squared. So that one's pretty straightforward and it's very much what we did before. So let's take a look at the example questions.